So I'm going to tell you another funny story, and this is kind of this is kind of can uh, resonate with all the parents out there, all the coaches of young players. Um, you know that this goes on the lines of a player going through a slump. Uh, no one wants to go through a slump in baseball and hitting. I mean, that's one of the worst things you can do. I mean, some guys and girls take it harder than others. Some, you know, kind of push it off and they just keep playing. But you're going to always have those, those moments where you just feel like you cannot hit. And you feel like no matter what you do, you're going to mess up and you're not even going to get a hit. You have no chance to hit the plate. So I remember when we were in Atlanta, Merv Rettman was the hitting coach that year. Outstanding hitting coach. He was with the Padres for a long time. I mean, just knows his stuff. And he was kind of quirky and kind of would just say one-liners to make you laugh. Well, one day, Mark DeRosa and myself were in the cage, and I'll never forget it. And Mark was struggling so bad. I mean, it was almost you felt sorry for the guy. And he went up to Merv and was like, Merv, what do I do? Oh, my God, what do I do? I don't know what to do. I'm, I'm like hopeless at home plate. I, I have no idea. Give me something. Give me a drill. Give me something to do. Merv just sat there like this. He looked at Mark and goes, Mark, have you ever thought you're as good as you're going to be? And Mark started laughing. And he started laughing so hard. And he's like, come on, Merv. And Merv's like, no, I mean it. Like, you think this might be it. This might be as good as you're going to be. There's no, no more you can do. Just who cares? Just this is where you're at. You're at the top. Just go out there and swing. Mark went out there that game, I think he got like two hits, and he took off. Of course, Mark played a long time in the big leagues. But the point of this story, to me, that still sits with me, is when a player is in a slump, sometimes making them laugh or sometimes just saying something off the wall, rather than getting in there and grinding in the cage and getting in there, just keep drilling yourself further and further into the ground, sometimes just Lightening the air is going to help that player more than just, you know, staying on to that player. And Merv taught me that as a coach. And when I started coaching, like when they're struggling, just make them laugh. Just make them realize that, you know, it's, it's not that hard. You don't have to be hard on yourself. Just go play.